It's been a decade since Apple co-founder Steve Jobs died, leaving his wife Laureen Powell Jobs with a fortune worth $16.6 billion, making her one of the world's richest women. Now the 57-year-old billionaire is putting her money to good use by expanding her own businesses and philanthropies. Welcome back to our channel, Everlasting Luxury, and today, we're going to discuss the luxurious life of Laureen Jobs. She doesn't appear to be satisfied with people downplaying her significance. She is more than just Steve Jobs' widow. In order to make her own mark on the universe, Laureen Powell Jobs is taking steps and leveraging her resources. To do what you want to do, to leave a mark, in a way that you believe is significant and long-lasting. That's a life well lived, says the author. Laureen Powell Jobs is a woman who works in the fashion industry. Where is Powell Jobs making a mark on the world? The fortune has been used to fund a variety of philanthropic endeavors, including the establishment of an organization dedicated to social change. However, she has other expensive hobbies, such as art collecting, and she has made significant contributions to political campaigns in the past. Whenever the philanthropist isn't busy trying to make the world a better place, she can be found gardening on the grounds of her sprawling San Francisco estate or vacationing on a super yacht off the coast of Croatia. Founder Powell Jobs established the Emerson Collective in 2004, a social change organization named after one of her favorite writers, Ralph Waldo Emerson, to address issues of social justice and equality. Because it is a private company rather than a traditional nonprofit, the Emerson Collective is able to make grants and investments that are directed toward immigration reform, social justice, and education. It has provided funding for a number of startup businesses, a kind of Justice League of Practical Progressives, according to the Washington Post, describes the group. She is now preparing to invest $3.5 billion in climate-focused initiatives over the next 10 years, a significant increase from her previous commitment. Aside from the New America Foundation, Powell Jobs has served on the boards of several other organizations, including Teach for America, Conservation International, and the Conservation International Foundation. According to Dirt, Powell Jobs purchased a Paradise Cove mansion in Malibu for $44 million in 2015. In 2017, she purchased the $16.5 million house next door for herself and her family. It has now been revealed that she paid an additional $17.5 million for a small oceanfront house that sits next to her estate earlier this year. So far, she's spent $80 million on land in Malibu alone, which is a record for her. Before Steve Jobs passed away, the two of them lived in a modest Palo Alto bungalow with a large garden. Venus, a mega yacht worth $110 million that she owns maybe one of her most ostentatious possessions. Powell Jobs enjoys frequent vacations and is frequently spotted cruising off the coast of Cannes in the Mediterranean, according to a source. Jobs designed and built a sleek ship out of lightweight aluminum and special glass for the occasion. He enlisted the help of the chief engineer of his Apple stores to create the special glass that would allow the ship to have 10-foot-high windows running the length of its hull. The yacht was one of Jobs' final projects before his death in October 2011. I'm well aware that it's possible that I'll die and leave Loreen with a half-finished boat, he told his biographer Walter Isaacson, but I'm going to have to keep going with it. Otherwise, it will be considered an admission that I'm about to die. Powell Jobs is well known as a major art collector enthusiast, in addition to her charitable work for a variety of causes. According to Art News Magazine, her art collection was substantial enough to qualify her as one of the top 200 collectors in the world in 2018. Aside from that, she is an avid sports fan. In October 2018, she purchased a 20% stake in the company that owns the NBA Washington Wizards, the NHL Washington Capitals, and the Capital One Arena in Washington, bringing her total stake in the company to 40%. Powell Jobs now owns the second-largest stake in the Monumental Group, which consists of 19 individuals after CEOs and Chairman Ted Leonsis. She acquired a majority stake in The Atlantic, a new publication founded in 1857, through her organization, Emerson Collective, which she founded. According to The Washington Post, 
The organization plans to take full ownership of the Atlantic over the next few years. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What are your views about luring jobs, luxurious lifestyle? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.